Museum shops and galleries are closed and one artist in New Orleans is making use of a unique canvas to reach a stir crazy audience. Devin Bartolotta shows us the quarantine inspired graffiti popping up all over the city. In a neighborhood mostly walled up behind sheets of plywood. This is New Orleans. You're not used to seeing quiet. Art is finding a way to thrive under quarantine. I mean, I stopped in my tracks, <laughs> literally. <laughs> Where some see boarded up buildings, pop artist Joshua Wingerter sees windows of opportunity. But it was like, everybody's liking this. You know, I was, I was like, cool, I'm going to just do it as, as much as I can because I love this, you know, so. He's spray painting his way through the French Quarter, sometimes attracting an audience. It's so awesome to see it live in action, you know. Joshua spent three days bringing life back to Frenchman Street, where he started his career. All right, I like uh, Louis Armstrong. I like Mr. Rogers. Add a socially distant Mona Lisa, some toilet paper, a few face masks. I think it's beautiful. And you've got a coronavirus era art gallery you don't need to leave your car to enjoy. Yeah, I just felt like I wanted to get in there and like change the atmosphere, get it back to like a comfort zone. Not only for me, but like anybody that's walking home or taking a bike ride or driving through. His graffiti has been welcomed, even requested by owners of bars and shops. Shut down by coronavirus for five weeks and counting. So I'm not from around here. I'm a travel nurse, actually. So it's nice to get a little piece of what the people are like. With no telling how long our city will stay braced for an invisible storm, this hometown artist says he'll keep transforming the canvases it provides. And I'm going to just go out there and just do as many boards as I can until they send me home, you know? In New Orleans, Devin Bartolotta, Eyewitness News. Joshua Wingerter posts his recent work on Instagram. You can find links to his social media website on our site, www.tv.com.